Hello, everybody. It's Coach Stacy here, and I'd like to talk to you quickly about just refreshing our nutrition and hydration mentality and how we bring that into our week so that we're ready for these races. Um, I want to make sure that you guys understand your general nutrition, things that you should be eating and including in your meals and snacks every day. We've reviewed um, this a few times each season, but it's always great to hear it again. So make sure you guys are having a protein, a carbohydrate, a healthy fat, and something very colorful on each and every plate or with each and every snack if you can. Examples of that, the proteins are your meats, fish, chicken, um, beans, peanut butter. Your examples of carbohydrates are rice, potatoes, pasta, bread, crackers, um, some starchy fruits and vegetables such as peas or carrots or bananas. Those are all carbohydrates. Your healthy fat would also be your nut butters or um, avocado if you like that or a little olive oil if your parents cook some vegetables in that for you or fat in dairy such as milk or yogurt or non-fat yogurt such as coconut uh, milk-based yogurt. So these are all very healthy fats as opposed to saturated fats that come in baked goods and things like that. We try to eat those a little less often, but it's always fair to have a treat. So don't um, don't think that there are any there are any foods that are completely off limits to you. Just keep the perspective on bringing more healthy things in. Okay, the most important component for a very strong athletic body is going to be to not forget your colorful fruits and vegetables. So if you look down at your plate and you see there is isn't any bright colors such as green, red, orange, yellow, um, then you might want to consider adding something. So what would be green? It could be broccoli, but it doesn't have to be. It could be some green grapes um, or string beans or cucumbers, which are really abundant and fresh this time of year. Red, orange could be different colored peppers. You can dip those in some salad dressing that you might like or hummus, or you can take um, red peppers and dip them in some salsa things like that. Um, you can also use fruits for color. You can use oranges or you can use apples. So don't feel that you have to eat a vegetable. If you're really just feeling you want something wet and sweet, you can have a fruit and that's gonna give you the vitamins and minerals that you need to help you absorb the protein um, the, and the carbs that you're eating along with your healthy fats. So that's your general nutrition. Just make sure your plate has those four elements. Look at your plate and take um take control over what you put in your body so if you see that something's missing you can retrieve that from the kitchen or you can ask your parents for help so that's the first thing we want to focus on is the what we eat each and every day the second thing is what do we drink each and every day now it is still august and the weather could change again even though it's feeling beautiful today we still need to drink as if we are um, in the heat of summer because our bodies are still possibly catching up from last week when it was super hot and humid. So you should be drinking water to the point where you are A, not thirsty, and B, you are going to the bathroom um, often during the day, especially after training. If you notice that you're not going to the bathroom um, within the next half an hour to an hour after a, a big training or at the end of your training day, then there's a good likelihood that you have not absorbed enough fluids um, to pass extra, okay? So your body is gonna take the fluids it needs for all of its processes. And what's left over or not absorbed is what you're going to go to the bathroom um, and release. So make sure that you are going to the bathroom after the workouts. That's super important to note. Also to help you absorb the fluids that you're taking in, we talk so many times about things such as liquid IV or element drinks, or I'm a big fan of this product. It's Ultima. Honestly, guys, if I was a kid, this is the one I would want to drink. This is blue raspberry. I'm an adult, and this is the one I like to drink. So they taste really good, but you can find whatever flavor you like and try to have one bottle, a minimum of those a day. Um, if you're going to be swimming, you should be having an extra bottle because even though you're not feeling that you're sweating while you're swimming, your body is. It's just cooling off in the water really quickly. So swim days, you should definitely have two. And Every other day, every regular day, you should at least have one big bottle, a big Pone Springs or a bike bottle size full of electrolytes, okay? Um, and then also make sure that you um, don't avoid all natural fruit juices, such as apple juice or grape juice, cranberry juice, 
those juices are fine as long as there's no sugar added if you're using them as a source of hydration. If you're going to be using them for energy and a source of carbohydrate, that's where the sugar comes in. So just know what you need and when you need it. Okay, so that's the general nutrition and hydration reminders with some specific pointers that you can take notes on and keep handy to make sure that you are taking the best care of your body on the daily. Now, once we get to the circle around a race event, we have four different components. We have our race dinner, which is the dinner the night before the event. We have our race breakfast, which is the morning of the event. We have our race nutrition. What do we take in when we're on our way to the race, at the race, um, preparing to get in the water? And what do we take in during the race? And then we have the race recovery, which is what do we take in once the race is completed? Four steps, dinner, breakfast, during, and recovery. Okay, so write those down. Dinner, breakfast, race nutrition, and recovery. All four equally important, okay? You can't get to the race and start trying to load up on carbohydrates there. You're, you're never gonna have it available in time. You need to do that the night before and at breakfast. We had separate discussions about um, what would be appropriate. And you guys have been on plenty of races where Coach Noah and our uh, coaches and parents have been really helpful on preparing meals for you guys. It's going to follow the same general guidelines as your general nutrition meals, except you're going to go simple on your carbohydrates, meaning you want carbohydrates that absorb into your body very quickly. They go into your muscles and they store there. So you can take advantage of those while you're racing. The difference between complex and simple is that complex takes longer to digest. So brown rice is complex because it takes longer to digest. There's a lot of fiber around the rice. White rice is the same product as brown rice. It has just been processed a teeny bit in machines in factories that takes that outer fiber hull off of the rice. So I want you guys to go simple on the race elements. So the dinners and the breakfast. So not whole wheat toast, white toast, not whole wheat English muffins, regular English muffins, not whole wheat cereal like Raisin Bran, simple cereal like um, corn checks or Special K. Okay. So that's really important to remember. Low fiber on dinner and breakfast, a lot of carbohydrate, have your proteins, have your healthy fats, but when you also get to the fruits and vegetables, that's another place where there's a lot of fiber. In our general diet, that's great for us. But when we get to the race um, pre-dinner and pre-breakfast, we want low fiber. So not broccoli. Um, you want something very simple and easy to digest with a high sugar content so you can store that. So that would be peas and carrots. That would be string beans. That would be zucchini. That would be apples that are peeled, not the apple skin. That would be melons. Um, that would be grapes because they have a very thin skin. That could be berries. Stay away from things like pineapple, which are stringy and take a long time to digest. Okay, so that's your pointers. Um, I wanted to refresh you and remind you on that. And I just want to make, um, I just want to call out to the parents. You guys are the biggest supporters and role models of our young athletes. And I heard a quote that I wanted to share with you guys because I feel that it's incredibly relevant. And if someone, um, probably not you, but someone else would ask your children, where do they look to for guidance? What do they, who do they watch? It would be you. So the quote is, um, and it, it, the words might be slightly off, but the meaning is, our children are like paparazzi. They take your picture when you're not looking. Does that make sense? So make sure that you're always picture um, ready. Set a good example for these kids. You should be eating this way for yourself as well. And um, let's all hear it for healthy nutrition and hydration. Have great races for those of you racing this weekend.